get back into it? Like, I, I don't know. So I think where we left off was like kind of starting classes and my whole transition into that. I mean, for the month of September at least, it really was not that bad because it was basically all just shopping period. If you don't know what shopping period is, it's like the first week or two that you select classes where you can kind of like pick and choose what classes you wanna take. You can go to different lectures, see what you like, and then pick out your final course selection at the end of the two weeks. So shopping period is basically just a free for all. You can take whatever you want. You can try to get into classes that are like full at the time, but people might drop it. It's like a whole thing. It's like a big experimental phase. And then at the end of September, we had this thing called Harvard Brown. So there is this iconic football game that everybody goes to and it's Harvard versus Brown. Whether it's hosted at Harvard or at Brown, everyone like migrates to wherever it's going on that year. This year it was at Harvard. So me, all my teammates, all my friends, we all went up to Cambridge to go watch the football game and watch our team get brutally destroyed. Quite frankly, our football team is not very great. No hate to them, they're just not that good. And that's okay. So I think that's everything that happened in September. I'm going to now move on to October. It's crazy that I just spent all of that time talking about a singular month. So moving into October, at the beginning of October, we started to get into gymnastics practices. So in September, we didn't really have any gymnastics practices. It was just like captain's meetings and team meetings and like coaches meetings just to like prepare us for the preseason and season process. At the beginning of October, we started to have these things called captain practices, which is when the captains on our team just control the practices. The practices aren't super structured. The captains kind of like lay out the general assignments for that practice and you just kind of do what you need to do. They explain where you do need to be at the end of captain's practice. So as long as you can get to that point by the end of it, then you're chilling. On top of captain's practices, we had these like workouts once a week where we would do like stadium sprints or hill sprints. And oh my gosh, guys, I like really questioned my admittance onto this team. I was like, I don't think I can do it. I literally remember doing these hill sprints with the team and I was like yards behind everybody else, dying, like wheezing. I was so embarrassed but I genuinely like I cannot run for my life so that was a whole adjustment I was like what is going on like these captains practices like the practices are really chill the team conditioning is really intense the lift is like whatever I'm still trying to get used to how to feel confident in the lift room because I had no idea what I was doing because I, I had never lifted weights before then I remember the very first time that we went in for a team lift it was really weird because I thought they were gonna like kind of walk us through it a little bit more but it was just kind of like the head strength coach would walk us through what we're supposed to be doing, like all the different exercises. And then I was just like, oh, okay, go, go off on your way. This is the assignment, you got it. I was like, oh, do, so, so do we go get the weights? And like, do we, do we bring them back to our station? Like, can we move around to whatever station we want? Like everyone just like went off and did their own thing. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'm going. So that was something, I mean, I adjusted really quickly to lift. Lift was not an issue at all. It was just kind of funny. In the midst of this all, just kind of adjusting to classes, adjusting to my new sports schedule. I was trying to hang out with my friends as much as possible, get to know people. I was also still at this point exploring campus a lot because the weather was still really nice. So I was trying to experiment with just different different study spots that I like, different dining halls that I really enjoyed. This whole first semester and even second semester was just a lot of like experimenting and like trying to figure out what I wanted to do, what I liked. Oh, and then we had some recruits come. If you guys don't know what recruits are, they're little high schoolers that come and tour the college and might want to join your sports team. By the time that we reached mid-October, we had kind of had that transition between captain's practices and regular practices. The little point that like marked this shift over to regular practices was gear day. So gear day is when we get all of these like new clothes and merchandise and like little get ups that go with the Brown Gymnastics team and they basically gift it to us and that is like the merch that we travel in. That's the merch that we use to like match during meets, competitions, whatever. And we also got like shoes and slides, sneakers, backpacks, all of the above. It was incredible. So much fun. I have some pictures of my teammate Taylor. She was just in complete heaven. And the difference between captain's practices and regular practices is now the coaches are in complete control of the practices, not the captains. I mean, the captains can still have some form of input to the coaches but like it's really the coaches controlling and setting up a program for the practices now so the practices start to become more legit at this point they're kind of picking up the pace a little bit the expectation has been raised now we're starting to get into actual preseason stuff we would also go to this off-campus gym we called it pit it was just this gym that we'd have to drive to like 20 minutes off campus because we don't have any foam pits in our gym especially when trying to train new skills or trying to get consistent with skills that we wanted to compete in season we really did need foam pits to practice on so 
once or twice a week we would just drive off campus during regular practices and go to these pits and train there and then come back and train in our regular gym and it was just kind of like a back and forth type of process for a while whatever right and then my birthday is in october so on october 17th i turned 19 and that is the official day that i started dating my boyfriend okay now we're moving into november at this point things like really started to pick up with like school and we were also in full-fledged like preseason with gymnastics our full practice schedule for preseason which we had been in at this point was monday wednesday friday 3 30 to 6 30 tuesday was like 4 to 6 45 or something like that saturday was pit so it would be like i don't even remember i just remember getting up so early it was like 7 a.m to 9 a.m or 7 to 10 i'm not sure it was like some like window of time like really early in the morning that we would like get up and go to pit and then we had two one hour lifts twice in the week i did monday wednesdays everyone was kind of just like scattered based off their schedule but that was our preseason practice schedule and it doesn't sound like that much but it was a lot and super tiring to just kind of like be back and forth between like school gym school gym school gym all the time i don't want to sound like i'm complaining though because i really i am not complaining at all i'm just acknowledging that it was difficult at this point i was trying to balance that and also balance the fact that school was starting to pick up like the assignments were starting to get more demanding yeah it was stressful i was stressed because i was just like oh my god like i it's my first time ever doing this like i really haven't done real school in like two years because of covid moving into november a little bit i had a little bit of a crisis so just to give you some context i had been sick for like maybe a month and a half at this point maybe even two months i had just been like consistently having this really annoying cough that would not go away it would keep me up at night it would distract everyone in the middle of my classes i was genuinely so embarrassed it would get in the way of my practices sometimes because literally i would just be like coughing and then i would have to leave the gym and almost like vomit in the trash bucket because i was just like hacking up a lung and i just didn't know what was wrong with me because i had tested for covid a million times because at this time like covid testing was necessary like you had to test like once or twice a week and i was testing consistently i even went to a walk-in clinic at one point to see like i was like what is wrong with me like what do i have they're like oh you just have some respiratory irritation well no duh i would assume so like i'm cannot breathe properly that's what they told me at the walk-in clinic they were like you'll get over it with time it's just the common college flu that's going around and that's what i thought it was you know i was like you know what everyone's getting sick around me i probably just have the same thing my immune system must just be like extra weak but i'll get over it eventually well no i did not get over it i actually had to go home because it was becoming such an issue where i would be up in the middle of the night coughing 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 just nothing would help cough medication not helping cough drops not helping i could not figure out a singular method to fix this and that is because i had asthma so this whole entire time i thought i was sick i was not sick at all i was buying and taking these like cold and cough medications i was consuming like 20 cough drops a day and just like nothing was helping they didn't even work because i didn't even have a cold so in the midst of all of this chaos with like how busy school was and how busy like preseason was i had to go home because i needed to go see my doctor and see what was wrong with me because it got to the point where i called up my mom like fully crying because i was like this is becoming an issue like it's interfering with my everyday life you know the walk-in clinic like they told me it was gonna go away it's not going away like it's keeping me up at night i feel like i'm a huge disturbance in all of my classes and it's like making it so i can't even practice normally because i'm like coughing every single time i'm trying to like engage my lung and my mom was like okay we're gonna come pick you up we're gonna bring you home we're gonna take you to the doctor and we're gonna figure out what is wrong so i go to my doctor listen to my lungs ask me a few questions i at the point honestly was convinced that i had walking pneumonia or bronchitis or just something and i was like praying to god that they would just have like some sort of medication to like help me because i just felt like so hopeless at this point which sounds so stupid but like genuinely i felt so hopeless at this point because you can ask any of my friends from first semester i was dying i vividly remember we went to go watch a hockey game and because it was like so cold and dry in there when we left i just started coughing could not stop threw up on the grass oh my gosh i just like now that i'm like remembering that i'm like oh that was that was truly something wasn't it so my doctor was like hey you got asthma and it's pretty severe because you've basically been having an ongoing asthma attack for the past like month and a half and i was like oh I've never had asthma before in my life. Never been an issue. She was like, nope, you got asthma. We're gonna prescribe some medication to help you. So, um, I would say my asthma was like the main thing that happened in November. Besides that, I mean, I went to Florida for Thanksgiving break and the whole month of November was just kind of like maintenance. I was just like maintaining my skills in the gym. I was just maintaining my workload at school. Nothing crazy was changing at this point. I was just kind of getting ready for finals. That was pretty much it for November. November really didn't have too much stuff going on. 
besides me figuring out that I had chronic asthma. But anyway, it's all right. Your girl has an inhaler now and a nebulizer. Now we're moving into December. We had a little mock meet at my gym to kind of prepare us for season because at the very beginning of January, we started our gymnastics season. In between like this point of the mock meet and finals, I was just preparing for my finals. I had some like final papers. I had final exams. I had final projects. I just remember being super nervous about taking my finals because in college especially, like you really don't have that much wiggle room to like mess up because everything is worth so much. For example, I remember one of my finals this year was worth close to 30% of my grade. That is like a do or die type of moment that can really make a difference between letter grades, like complete letter grades. I will admit it is nice not having like as many like busy work assignments, but then again, it does mean that the assignments that you do have are extremely important. Anyway, I got through it. I was fine. The way I ended off the semester, I was pretty content with like it definitely could have gone better. But then again, like every experience that I had and everything that got me up until that point where I was at the end of my semester was part of my learning experience, which I'm starting to understand now because in the very beginning, I would think back on things from the beginning of the semester or the middle of the semester and start to like regret and almost like have resentment towards myself because I'm like, oh, like now looking back on that, I could have done that differently. But no, like now that I'm looking back on it now, I'm realizing that was all part of the learning process for me. And now in the future, I know that I should approach things like that differently. But in the moment, like I was just, I, I know I was doing my best. So like, there's no reason getting upset with myself, getting disappointed or mad. Really, I can't do anything to change it now. So there's no point in holding so much hostility towards my former self. <laughs>